to put it simply, I am in love with Gun and Breaker 4. Just a preface, this review copy was generously provided by Bandai Namco Entertainment America. You guys rock. I have always adored this franchise. I don't just mean Gundam Breaker, but Mopsu Gundam as a whole. Could I out my age here a little bit, but I was one of those youngins that grew up watching Gundam Wing on Toonami after school every single day. My first Gunpla was a Heavy Arms Custom from Walmart that I put together with my teeth. Those experiences launched me into the wide world of Mecha as a whole. The years went by, I collected kits as a secondary hobby, I kept watching as many shows as I could, I kept finding any community I could to talk about it. I was always tangibly aware of the Breaker series, but not able to play since I did not own a PS3 or have any idea how to import in the first place. That changed with the release of a little-known phone app in August of 2019, known as Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. GBGW captivated me. The ability to mix and match whatever parts I wanted on the go, in the shower, on the bus, during a lunch break, opened up a well of creativity, and more importantly inspired me to go back and check out the previous entries in the series. Whether that be, uh testing Breaker 2 on various hardwares, or getting an imported SEA copy of Breaker 3 to enjoy on my own PS4. Between them, I have put thousands of hours into the Breaker series. So I hope that you believe me when I tell you, Gunner Breaker 4 is good. And I hope you don't condemn me when I say, I kind of like it more than Breaker 3. Now, I suppose before the mob shows up at my door with pitchforks, I should explain myself. I explain what I really care for in this game. The gameplay is tight. From the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay to the building loop in general, everything just feels well too. We've left behind the slippery clunkiness of new Gun and Breaker, and the lack of verticality in Gun and Breaker Mobile, and moved more towards a Gun and Breaker 3 model. Now, unlike 3, which carries uh, a very fun, fast-paced, kinetic playstyle. This doesn't quite feel as frantic. It's like they took everything I liked about it and turned the settings ever so slightly down across the board to reach that perfect spot that speaks to me directly. All my actions have purpose, all my actions are controllable, and they are alterable at will. Now, Path Breakers had animation cancels and jump cancels and skill cancels and all that good stuff. This does too. But it feels like there's a lot more freedom in your movement. Your lock-ons are not as rigid. Your direction of momentum is not as forced. Kind of like you're all stiff but wiggly at the same time. And it, it, it just feels real good. And while starting builds might be a little slow... Eventually, you can crank the stats up to be more of that hectic, frantic energy that you're used to. Or keep it slow and deliberate and be just as effective. The choice is really yours. My basic attacks feel like they have impact and purpose. All of my option skills or EX skills always feel like a high damage option with two very different ways that I can feed them. My own personal playstyle eventually evolved into high hit count option attacks to then build my EX gauge for map clears. I can see other avenues, like instead of using those high cost EX skills with big effect, you focus on the low cost, super efficient ones to help clear out mobs and big bosses for high damage, while keeping your options free for movement and utility. Just like prior games, the sheer breadth of offensive, defensive, and utility options at your disposal is staggering. And there's definitely gonna be something here for everybody. The core Breaker gameplay loop that everyone knows and loves is still maintained. Go on a mission with your custom build, grab some new parts off of drops, go back to the garage with them, ogle them, think of the possibilities, slap on something new and do it again. And Breaker 4 makes that even easier with the 
probably single best addition, in my opinion, to this entire formula. A test mode that you can access from the garage at any time by hitting start. Think of this as the void from DMC or Bayonetta. That as soon as you put on something new, you can instantly jump into a bland, flat digital field where you can change the number of enemies, the amount of your resources, anything you feel like, the amount of damage they take, to either cosmetically or practically test out a new part. It's wild how much this changes the building process. And I have some unfond memories of back in Breaker 3, having to run that first mission over and over again with the same gyms and the same gun tanks. It just I feel kind of empty after a while. The difficulty of the game as well feels just right. Uh, it's a pretty steady curve working through the story on standard. You're never too far behind the drops that are dropping compared to the level it wants you to be. And if you do want an additional challenge, the additional difficulties really crank it up. I remember being blown away by the first time I toggled to Hardcore on a Chapter 1 mission, and I saw it go from a level 5 expectancy to a level 24. That definitely opens up a ton of replayability when you start getting the you know, better, well-tuned builds down. Hitting these harder missions for more challenge and better drops is going to keep us going for a long time. And not just in story, either. Uh, alongside story, there's a plethora of different quests that run in smaller arenas with less narrative, but more focused combat, which makes for a pretty fun challenge. The included bounty hunt and survival modes also lend you test your metal against different foes. The narrative that it presents is pretty engaging, too. In a fun little meta aspect, the story has you as a player of GB4, the Good hottest boy, new Gumpla battle simulator, come in fresh to this beta test like everybody else. You don't know up from down or an Aegis from a double Zeta, and that's when our knowledgeable, if a little self-conscious buddy Tau comes in. Tau is a fantastic secondary buddy character in his introduction carrying the fashion sense and all the wingman energy of Chuck Heath. He's also a new player who knows a lot about the game but lacks practical experience. And that's where you guys can help each other learn and grow. Lynn, your second party member as well, is a similarly new player who is looking to latch on to your experience and skills to get the most out of her game. Your stable of clanmates and friends will swiftly grow from person to person, and each one of them does their best to endear to you in a way that I haven't really felt since Breaker Mobile. I know there's some ride or die Misa fans, or defenders of the Sokai High crew, or those lovable scamps from the Isekai of Breaker 2, and absolutely nobody in the world ever hoping to defend any character from New Gundam Breaker. But these Breaker 4 party members really try their best to endear to you by being just other players other people that have their own lives insecurities and worries outside the game that sometimes they just can't help but bring in but that's kind of how the social aspect of these online games work you run missions together you exchange emails you talk about your day you talk about your life and little by little you start to get closer the choice to make your avatar in lobby, your gunpla itself, is also a inspired thing. You very quickly start associating characters with their particular gunpla, and the range of emotion they can express just from them with simple emotes, plus the excellent English voice acting, really brings it to life. I've been taking some extra time to teach Lilin everything I know about GB4. From building gunpla to tips about combat. Yes, I'm still learning. This is the first time we've had a full English language localization on the audio in a Breaker game, and they have put an unreal amount of effort into it. From friends to antagonists to side characters, everyone sounds amazing, and it really helps you get into the narrative. I could easily spend hours gushing about everything I love about this game, and I probably will in the coming weeks. I think if you should take anything away from my ramblings and my yapping on this, 
it's that Breaker 4 is its own game. And it stands by itself as just a fun game. If you're a fan of only the Plast Model Kits, the Builder has more than you could ever hope for in the variety of customization options. If you're a fan of action games, the gameplay is just enough there to keep you going back in again and again. If you're a fan of Gundam, that's self-explanatory. This is just dripping with it. But even if you're someone who's just been on the outside curious and wants to jump in, this is a good place to. It really is. I haven't even mentioned the insane amount of play get out of photograph or diorama mode for those who'd rather play with their toys than, well, play with their toys. I think it should be pretty self-evident that I've pretty much failed to find too much negative to say about this. I've been playing it almost straight for a week, and I've never stopped having fun the entire time. So my opinion may not matter too much. Who am I? I'm just a guy here yapping. But I say this is a worthy successor to Breaker 1, 2, 3, Mobile, not New Gun and Breaker, we don't talk about that. And it's worth your time. I really hope to see you online. To all my break battlers out there, this is it. We're back. We battle once more. Join the Discord.